Well, uh, we are uh, in Kathmandu at the new bus terminal, how they call it. And so we're going to Saborbesi to start uh, the long town track. We're just having a quick breakfast here at the new bus station. Yes, because there is no time when the bus leaves. I think they're just going to leave when they have enough people. So we just decided to eat something. Uh, after eight hours on the bus, we arrived to Saborbesi. Finally, it was it was a very exhausting ride. There's a hotel White House, so this is our room. The double bed and attached bathroom, but unfortunately, it's like a whole toilet. I was hoping for like a Western toilet, but not. Okay, have a nice time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's our first day of trekking and it, it was very difficult to get up in the morning and it was cold. Uh, the first day on any trek in Nepal is always the toughest. We just left Sabrubesi and we found our first sign for the Long Tongue Trek. The route seems to be very well marked with these signs everywhere showing you exactly which direction to go. Uh, we just stumbled upon this bridge and it literally looks so broken, you see. It's all the handles sort of fall, fell down and we're just looking around uh, trying to figure out the way to cross to the other side. We thought maybe there's a different path. No, but they actually tell us, show us that we should go across the bridge. Uh, it really looks quite kind of dodgy. <laughs> okay, Campbell is out. Now I'm gonna go as well. You see, it's like so skewed, and I feel like I'm <laughs> gonna fall on the other side. Yeah. It's not, it's not very high, but it just look really, really dodgy. <laughs> we, we spent like five minutes walking around the bridge, going down to the river, trying to find a different way to cross. But well, apparently the bridge is fine. It just, look, <laughs> it just looks broken. Well, we managed to cross it and we are now on the other side safe. How was it, Campbell? No, it was <laughs> <laughs> we have been walking for five kilometers now, just after crossing that yes. dodgy bridge that Ali <laughs> just showed you. Um, we are just sitting here, yes, stopping decided, for a tea. Yes, to drink some tea. I love lemon tea. That is just so so good. And I actually like my masala. Very good. And we don't know how far it is still. This is a quite a nice steep up. Our first real climb for the day. Typical Nepal hike. We just climbed a couple of hundred meters up and now we're on our way back down to the river again. They use donkeys to get all the food, drinks, building material 
up to the little villages in the mountains here. The tough life of a hiking blogger. Alia is taking exact notes on the way. Every place of accommodation, restaurant, exact distances, elevations, everything you need to plan for this hike. Since there are no roads in these mountains, like in all other Nepalese treks, everything between villages is transported by porters, yaks and donkeys. Four hours and about 14 kilometers into the hike. Not crazy tough but quite a lot of up. We have done more than a thousand meters straight up to this point. Lomo Hotel! Yay! Finally! Okay. It was actually quite a tough day. Um, yeah, we made it. It was a really, really tough day. I think every first day on the first track in Nepal is a very tough day. It took us four and a half hours, but, well, it wasn't easy. It was not four and a half hours just walking around and looking. And it was like a really steep uphill. And the uh, last five kilometers. So I, at some stage I thought I was not going to make it, <laughs> just want to sit there somewhere <laughs> and rest till tomorrow morning. Yeah, but now we are in Lama Hotel. It's, uh, it's a bit weird because the hotel, but it's not a hotel, it's actually a village with this name. And we just want to walk around and try to find a place to stay. Walking through the village. It's cute here. Why? Hey buddy! Hello! Hello! Hello. The absolute highlight of today, we brought a pack of vacuum packed bultong. Favorite South African snack. Dried meat. Yeah, and it's quite difficult to find here some protein on the track in Nepal. <laughs> Luckily we have our own. Day two is just getting started. Yes, it's getting colder and colder. It is actually. <laughs> well, we had a great time at the friendly guest house in Lama Hotel. And we are on our way to Lockdown Village. Ready to roll? Yeah, people in, in this friendly guest house, people are very friendly. <laughs> First kilometer today was all the way up. Great way to get the blood flowing. Alia oh, is quite fast, so she's always a little bit ahead of me. She's sitting taking some notes so long. Hey. How was the first three kilometers? It was good. It was three only. It was <laughs> You can see uh, as the altitude increases and we are getting closer to those peaks we are getting more and more snow on the path we have been walking for about two hours now and we're very close to the next group of tea houses you can see them just over there so, yeah, I would say about every hour we get a couple of tea houses where you can buy something to eat or to drink.
do the walk for a second day and they are checking our permits our Langtang National Park permits and our Tim's permits so they do actually check them on the way Dog. He just hasn't had a nice bath in the river. <laughs> he has like chili's ears though. <laughs> the last two kilometers or so were fairly flat, but now we've started again with quite a strenuous climb. Oh, need the cold. There's such a cute baby out there. What? It's so very <laughs> cute. Hello, buddy. Oh, a little yuck. There we can see Langtang village, so we have about another kilometer, maybe a bit less, yeah, a couple of hundred meters to go, but it's all the way down and then up again. Last little bit. We finally reached Langtang village. Oh, I'm really tired again today. And um, yeah, we just saw the sign, there's a bakery and a coffee shop and it looks like they have a real espresso machine which is exciting maybe i can get a cappuccino yeah. we were finally in langtang it took us four hours to walk to langtang from lama hotel and well, we just were so tired and we actually were walking to a different guest house but we decided to stop a bit early we couldn't find that one and well this is our room this is a, uh, a typical guest house maybe if i can say so in nepal so just a room, two beds, blankets, but we're very lucky because today we're having a touched uh, bathroom toilet and we even have western toilet today. It's not a whole toilet, it's like a real sit down toilet. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, unfortunately there is no, I mean there is shower but there is no water in this shower so we have to ask them to give us a bucket with hot water and yeah, do like bucket shower. Yes. Yes, fantastic. And we are sharing some potatoes and yak cheese. And butter. And butter. A lot of potatoes actually. For lunch. Yes. And this is the view from our guest house. And now it's a day three on the long time track and it's getting cold and colder as we're getting high and high up. And today we're walking to Kenjimumpa. And well, yeah, it's like a really cute donkey. So really <laughs> <laughs> Lucky they're so hairy. Yes, and well, we, we slept last night like 10 hours. We're really tired. I'm actually even sort of slept enough. It was very, <laughs> very good. Okay. Let's roll. Let's roll. This is actually a very cool yacht. Look at its awesome tail. So as the altitude increases, we starting to see more yachts and place donkeys. I think they use the yachts to carry most of the stuff here. An absolute highlight of the day. We found a place with real Italian coffee. Okay. There are a lot of water sources all over this trek. So water's not really a problem, but the thing is uh, most of the water they don't really rate it as drinkable so we carry our live straw bottles with us which is great you can see Alia is just refilling them here yeah? you basically suck the water through a very powerful filter 
and it makes any water drinkable. We use them on all our tracks. Getting closer to Kinja and Pa. Uh, what a surprise! We thought it was going to be like a really small place. Jeez! I mean, it's just like a, <laughs> it's a big here. place. Yo. I don't even know there is no road. So they have to carry everything up here with donkeys. Unless there's a helicopter flying to and back bringing some, I don't know, cables or building material. But it's just unreal how you can build a place like this with no road. Yes. We've just reached Kinja and Gumpa. Today was a very nice day. The scenery was really awesome. And it wasn't that far. Uh, we walked for two hours, six and a half kilometers, and I think we are walked 400 meters up. It was a yeah, really nice day. We are in the dining area and Pao Chi house we're staying at. It's an Everest guest house in Kianjung Gompa. <laughs> Very difficult now. And I know many people that haven't uh, hiked before in Nepal, they actually wonder what kind of food you can get on the track. And well, this is a pretty typical menu that you get. I think you get the same food uh, pretty much in every tea house, your you guest house you stop. So it's like a really wide range of hot drinks from local teas to black coffee and green tea and the sea bug juice. It's a local juice. It's, it's, it's quite nice, like from small red berries. Well, porridges for breakfast, uh, all sorts of breads, chapati, soups, different potato dishes. Yeah, the prices are Nepalese rupees, obviously. Uh, well, momos, it's, a, it's like dumplings, it's a very traditional Nepalese food. Uh, well, different kind of noodles, pasta, pizza, well, pretty much rice dishes, eggs, or oh, fried eggs, boiled eggs, whatever, scrambled. And there's some well, local dishes that we haven't really tried them yet. We're gonna try now, eat now, sukuti yak meat. And, well, yeah, well, actually we ordered lunch and, well, we ordered uh, sea bag juice, mm, uh, cheese potato momos, and sukuti yak meat. Now well, we're waiting for our food, so they're making everything from scratch here. And well, let's see what, 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 what kind of food we get. Uh, every, every guest house has the, like a booth like this, where they write down everything you consume during your stay, and then you pay at the end when you, when you check out. <laughs> well, so this is our, I guess this is uh, momos, look a little bit different from what we're used to. Usually momos look like dumplings, but it looks more like a pie. Well, with cheese and potatoes, and this is sukuti. Uh, well, sukuti is just dried yak meat, but they don't eat it just dried, they always cook it. I think they fried. Is it fried? It's like it's like American jerky or South African built on, but they don't eat it, not cooked. Oh, that's good. It tastes like fried beef. A little bit of a wilder taste, the yuck meat, but it's nice. Uh, well, this is a sea bag. It's nice, it's sweet, good. A little bit uh, cold in the evening, it's always, like, like they always, uh, every dining room, uh, 
every guest house has this nice uh, stove that they, they always make a fire in the evening. And well, what well, they use the yakshi, I think. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can see. This is yakshi that they collect <laughs> there. And this is our host, a very nice lady. And she's making fire for us. So, last morning up, we're going to the viewpoint, Kinjang Ri. What's the height? Yeah, 3,000, 3, well, no, 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 4,000. 4, 4, yeah. We actually were planning to stay for two nights here, but we both not feeling really good, so we just want to go up, uh, get our stuff, and start going down. We just don't want to get sick, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold. Let's roll. We're gaining some serious altitude now. Starting to breathe quite heavy. It's quite a steep climb. You can see there's a lot more snow now than we had low. We took a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. We missed the path. So we ended up coming straight up here. It's one of those places where you look down and you think how the hell did I ever climb up here but we found the path and yeah I think I was on it to the top From here, it's only about 30 minutes, I think, to the top. You can see the peak there. It's not very far, but I promise you, this last couple of hundred meters up is quite tough. It feels very far. Last couple of steps to the top. Finally, we made it to the top of the Long Tang Trek. It took us about two hours to do this last three kilometers straight up.
and we're back it took us just a little bit less than three hours to do the five kilometers or so to Kinjinri and back Definitely the highlight of every day is taking off my boots and putting on my sandals. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shower is another highlight. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, we've seen so many bakeries and coffee shops on the way, but none of them was open because drop season apparently. The only people left in Kathmandu for some reason, but we found a nice place. My dirty drink. A lot of the building material for the houses are carried up here by porters. This is the most difficult part of every day. Getting up at about seven o'clock and it is freezing. See Alia is sleeping in a sleeping bag under what a thick blanket that they always provide us with. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a shame, it's still very cold. But yeah, time to get up. So this, this is, is a, a Tibetan kitchen. This is a like um, temporary kitchen right here. Like um, after like two months, we are building a little bit more nice kitchen with the beautiful. Because this is after earthquake, so we have a not so good kitchen here. So this is a kitchen. We make here food, hot water, rice, talba. Then if in the emergency case, we use this gas for cooking like a soup and some tea, and some Tibetan bread, and some espresso. And this is uh, our dining hall. Like this is a very, this is a heater. In the night time, we put here some food here. It gets very heat and every guest are like coming from uh, all, like coming from a long way. So they can stay here, have a rest. It's such a fluffy thing. I'm not going to bite now. <laughs> it's very fluffy. Oh, I can't even. Today all the way down.
today is a, is a monkey day because on the way up we didn't see any animals, just yaks and donkeys. And today there are just monkeys everywhere. Look at that tree. There are like 10 monkeys. Yes, <laughs> look at That's that. So cute. Uh, but no luck with the red panda. Nowhere to be found. No. Now that we are a bit closer to see the little forest, we're getting a bit of rain. Our first rain of the trip. Catching a little bit of rain. Yeah, the last couple of kilometers. And we're done. So we just arrived in Cebu, <laughs> Basie. Yeah, so it was a very long day. We walked 20, 20 26 kilometers. And I'm quite tired. <laughs> yeah, for, for trekking with all the up and down. Yes. It's quite a Luckily long day. Luckily we had more downs today, didn't we? Yeah, today was more down. It yes. was still a, and a tough day. Yeah, so we're just gonna go to the place where we stayed, um, well, when we arrived. And tomorrow morning we're gonna catch a bus to Kathmandu. Okay. Yes. Let's get something to eat. That was good, by the way. Yeah, it was very good. <laughs> 